Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we're going to be talking about something that actually actually came about due to me asking for suggestions for videos and when this person suggested this I was actually quite surprised that I hadn't made a video about this before because it seems it seems kind of obvious to me now, I, now I've actually seen the suggestion but this person on screen, thank you to them by the way, asked if I could make a video about why we do rituals how you can go about writing your own rituals and why we even do rituals so in today's episode I thought I'd cover that for you all because it's more of a general topic something pretty easy to talk about and you know if you learn something drop me a like drop me a sub all that good shit and yeah let's get into it but before we get into that as always our patreon site for this channel so if you like what I do here go down and get yourself a membership lowest is five dollars the highest is twenty Platinum Patrons, well, I think it's anything above silver, get early access, you get all sorts of perks along with it, you get Discord access, you get roles within it, and yeah, all sorts of cool stuff, you get bonus content too, so if you want to help out the channel and make this a little more viable to do in the long run, then go get yourself a membership. <laughs> but yeah, with that out of the way, let's get into it. So, I'm going to start this off where anyone really would, with what is a ri what is Ritual? So, a rich, the actual definition of ritual is a ceremony in which the actions are worded in follow a prescribed order. And that pretty much hits the nail on the head when it comes to what is a ritual. It is a ceremony in which you are following specific actions and hoping for a specific outcome. Like, that is, you have intent to it, you know. I'm not just going to leave it at that baseline definition. I'm going to more elaborate on this when it comes from the satanic standpoint. When it comes to rituals within Satanism, we don't have, it, as I've spoken about many, many times in other videos, Satanism isn't a centralized path such as like Catholicism and things like that, where you would have written in practices, things that need to be done. Satanism, on the other hand, is not like this. It's about as individualistic as you actually can get. So we don't have set practices. You can make your own rituals which I will be talking about further on in this video, but I would just like to put that out here now. Because we don't have these set in place, like set in stone rituals, it allows people to make their own practices and somewhat like personalize their practices to, to their needs, to what they like. There are some groups, there are some sects which say there are set practices and you must do these things, only certain rituals work, but the the general consensus between most groups is that you can write your own rituals, there aren't, there is no one way of communing or worshipping Satan. This is the reason why there are so many different types of ritual and different types of interpretation when it comes to Satanism. Because we've never had that central path, because Satanism, it didn't, it didn't, it didn't come from one central thing. It came from multiple things, you know. Satanism itself doesn't come from one specific culture, it doesn't come from one specific text or anything like that. It comes from a ple well, a plethora, really. Very, <laughs> it comes from a plethora of different sources which come from different religions, different cultures, a lot of different things. So we have elements of many different things within our rituals. And moving on to the next part, which is probably the reason why most people actually came to this video, is why do Satanists do rituals? There's no one answer I could give to this because once again Satanism is an individualistic pra practice and it all depends on the practitioner and their intent and what the ritual actually says because once again it can, it can vary greatly, very greatly between ritual and practitioner. The most common form I would say is devotional rituals which is a ritual purely for the f People don't devote yourself, but show devotion to Satan, or show appreciation. I tend to use the term as more of an umbrella term for any kind of ritual which doesn't have... You're not expecting anything back. You are just doing it simply for the fact to honour or show devotion to Satan. Obviously, these aren't the only kinds of rituals. We have blessings, we have curses, we have whatever flavour of ritual you could really want or could cook up in your head. Obviously, not every ritual is going to work because, you know, if you're asking for, like, meteors to fucking land on your enemy and shit, obviously that isn't going to happen. When you're doing a ritual, you have to actually be somewhat realistic with your expectations because not everybody has that, I wouldn't say, like, magical prowess, but nobody has 
not everybody has the means to do that, you know? Like, I, I don't think even the best fucking Satanist on Earth could get someone hit by a meteor, like, so don't don't be setting your expectations too high expecting to write yourself a ritual and that solve all your problems because unless you are actually trying to solve your problems alongside doing rituals and stuff nothing is going to help like nothing is going to help you cannot exclusively try to rely on satan because after all if you're not going to show willingness to make your life better why why should satan help you he's not a fairy or a fucking some sort of genie. So yeah, with that rant out of the way, the basic TLDR of it all is, it depends on the practitioner. At the end of the day, it all depends on the practitioner because Satanism is an individual, oh, fuck. I nearly had a stroke gun. <laughs> because Satanism is an individualist path, we don't have set reasons why you would do that. It all depends on the practitioner and what ritual they are actually doing. And once again, this is this can vary very greatly from being purely devotional to being a curse, to being a blessing, to being anything, because the, in, the actual intent or the actual reason they are doing it depends purely on the practitioner and what that ritual actually says and what the intention of the person who wrote that ritual was. It, it, it has many different variables, you know. So I, I'm hoping you guys can see why I can't give a, a, a single conclusive answer to this because, once again, many different variables and it can vary greatly between Satanists to the point where there is no one answer. There are many different answers which can all be very right and very wrong at the same time, depending on the person. And now getting into the nice meaty bit of the video, I'm gonna give a couple a couple of like suggestions for writing rituals. I have written a few rituals in my time. I tend to I tend to stick to the ones I've written and I just stay to that because I don't really like doing other people's rituals. I feel that a ritual can only can only actually properly work if you've given it some sort of like personal flair if you guys catch my catch my drift with that. Most rituals I've come across, and this will be different for everybody, but most rituals I've come across generally they start with evil in evil or invocation. I can't remember the difference anymore. I made the mistake in the demonology video too. Not demonology, the um, hierarchy video, and that, that was quite funny. It usually starts with either evocation, evocation, invocation, whichever one it is, then it goes to offerings, and then it's the actual bulk of the ritual, and then it's saying goodbye to the entities, or saying goodbye to Satan, or saying you're, you're right, or whatever. This is how mine generally goes too. I generally, I cast a pen, I cast a pentagram with my ritual dagger, then I do my ev evocation, then I give my rich, I give my offerings for the ritual, and then I will say my devotional prayer and say goodbye to Satan, cast a pentagram, and then I'll blow out the candles, wait for the incense to completely burn, and that tends to be the end of the ritual after that. There are some good books you can actually look at out there, which will explain this in much deeper detail than I ever reasonably could, because you know, <laughs> this is a low quality channel. We don't, we don't dig, we don't dig too deep here. All right, you should expect better of me by now. I've, I've also suggested this book many, many different times over my videos, but if you want to grab a copy of the Complete Book of Demonology by S. Connolly, she actually has a section in it about writing your own rituals, which came in very handy for me. Also, this book, once again, I shilled fuck out of it but it's very good for beginners if you want to get into doing rituals and writing your own rituals and working with demons or Satan you can buy this book it's very good very conclusive not not conclusive but it's very it's very well written you know it's very <laughs> it's, it's a very good compilation of all the things that a beginner Satanist should have in their arsenal of tools when it comes to practice and when it comes to knowledge if you got this far Thank you for watching, and the next couple, the next couple videos should be some more personal stuff. Really, I want to share some of my experiences with you guys. This mask is pissing me off. I might switch back to the old one. I like this one for a little bit, but it's showing off. It's showing off too much neck. I don't feel modest anymore. It's upsetting me, right? <laughs> the next couple videos should be some more personal stuff. I wanna, I wanna make a video eventually about how I actually got into Satanism and what my influences actually were. So yeah, if you 
like what I do here, drop me a like, drop me a sub if you want to support me on Patreon, it's the first link. Once again, highest, <laughs> highest of 20, the lowest is a fiver, so realistically, you got nothing to lose, it's in dollars after all. I'm, I'm basically accepting fucking Monopoly money. So yeah, if you like what I do here, drop a like, drop a sub, all that good shit, and I'll see you in the next one. Hell soon. Thank you.